It's week 11 of the National Football League, and we've got Tavarius Ward. From the oldest capital city in the Americas, founded in 1325, EA Sports coverage of the NFL brings us to Mexico City. Tonight, we wrap up week 11 with a good Monday nighter between the San Francisco 49ers and the Arizona Cardinals. Brandon Gordon, as always, joined by my good friend Charles Davis. As CD, you look at the Niners in this matchup. They're squaring off against a very tough unit to throw against. And this is not one of the better passing offenses in the league to begin with, Brandon. And to illustrate that point, they're down near the bottom of the power ranking, so the focus is going to need to be on possession-type throws. Whether they're trying to use their running backs or tight ends a little bit more, the big thing is to make sure the quarterback gets it out of his hands quickly to his receivers, and they hope to gain an advantage that way. This will be fielded inside the five. And he'll go down as this drive will start at the 25-yard line. So here's the first drive now for the 49ers. Bringing him out is the pride of North Dakota State, now in his seventh NFL season, Carson Wentz. And when you look at him, you see that he's got all the tools you want in a quarterback. The big frame, the quick release, strong arm, has escapability. The issue sometimes, tries to do too much instead of just taking the throws that are available to him and occasionally turnovers get him into trouble. Play action, now Wentz. Buying, and he's gonna have to eat this one as down he goes. Jason Pierre-Paul has now recorded 10 sacks on the season. How about the defense there trying to set the tone on the very first play of the game? Yeah, there's a little bit of a glow here tonight because they brought the heat right out of the gate. What a good job establishing the tone for this one. So an early wake-up call there leads to a quick second and long. Now the first carry for Ezekiel Elliott. And just not a ton of room to work with. He'll get it to the 15 for a gain of two. On third and long, it's Wentz. And that will be incomplete. So on fourth down, kicking it away here, Michael Pilardi. And this is away. It's a high kick, and he got all of it. Fielded at the 20. Oh, he bowls over it. They'll call that a 61-yard punt. He got all of that one. And the Cards will take over first and 10. So out comes this offense to take over for the first time. The leading them out is the fourth-year quarterback out of Missouri. Second rounder in 2019, Drew Locke. That was a solid performance last week, wasn't it? Two touchdowns, no interceptions, ran the team well. Won the ball game, bottom line. May not have been earth shattering, but it didn't need to be. Throwing on first down is Locke. Eluding the pressure right. And he just gets rid of it, throws it away. The wise move there looked like nobody open. Now second down. To throw on second and 10, Locke. And complete. This is Albert Wilson. And he'll be out of bounds across the 30-yard line. Lock going to throw. Here's a screen for Robinson. So he fought off the tackle, and that effort gives him the first before he's brought down. Now we're going to get a stoppage here as we've got an injured Cardinal on the field. Well, now they're going to come out and take a look at this injury, and we'll be back in a moment. 
So here's a first and 10 at the 38. Here's Locke to throw. That's complete to Traylon Burks. And he'll be taken down, but not before they work this to the 45. First and 10 at the 45-yard line. And they'll run it. This is James Robinson. Oh, he faked it with a joke. Now he's got some room. And he just falls short down at the one-yard line. A huge play there for Arizona. 44 yards on the ground. Well, that is a running back who is not about to go down easily. He fought his way through the contact until the seas opened up for him. Yeah, this could be a sign of what this defense is in for because you know all week long the coaches were preaching to the defense. You've got to be able to wrap up against a back like him or he can make you pay. Technique, technique, technique. Robinson is not going to get in. In fact, he'll lose a couple of yards back to the three. That's going to go as a loss of one on first down. The tail of two extremes. First carry, he went for a bundle. His second goes backward. And how many times have we seen that happen? Because you get that big carry, and you come back, and you're all fired up, and sometimes you force a run a little bit, right? Trying to break off that big carry again, and instead, it works opposite. Locke going to keep this, and he is going to lose yardage here. That's going to go down as a loss of five, and it brings up third down. Well, that's going to bring up a big call now because he's unable to make the play himself on second down. Now you just have to wonder, will they keep the ball in his hands on third down? Well, they need to reverse the trend. The last two plays have gone backwards. Now it's third and goal. Shotgun snap to lock, and he's going to be dropped. Back at the 15-yard line. Samson Abuka with a big time sack on third down. It's a loss of seven. But it's a bad team. They're so competitively matched, and you just want to make those plays that give you an advantage. How about right here? The difference between letting them score a touchdown versus holding them to a field goal? That's absolutely huge with the play he just made. And you know he hated taking the loss there on third down. Field goal unit and Joey Sly now. This just 32 yards officially from the right hash. Sly able to put this one through. And the Cardinals have the first points. It's 3-0. They had it first and goal. Three attempts. Couldn't get it in, so they settle for three. Yeah, the field tends to shrink a little bit the closer you get to the goal line, doesn't it? It doesn't sound like it sounds a little counterintuitive. But you run out of space to run the deep route, so they can just sit on the shorter stuff if you're going to throw it. If you want to run it, it's just not as much space. Then they're back to the take three there. Back out there comes the 49ers offense ready for their second drive. And on the first drive, three and out. And I know that these are professional athletes, but I would imagine sometimes you, you get the nerves at the beginning of a game still, don't you? Those don't ever go away. And typically, what I've heard from guys and what I remember from playing, if you don't have nerves at the start of a game, it's not going to be a great day for you. You're not really ready to play. So finding a way to harness those nerves and not let them affect you in a negative way, that's what all the guys are looking for. Slam route's effective no matter who's running the route and catching the ball. But when you have a receiver of that stature, you have to be a little bit more precise throwing it. You don't have the same catch radius with the bigger targets. And able to get this one across the 45 before he's brought down. 13 yards there and a nine or first. That's pretty much mean potatoes right there, wasn't it? Just go right at him and let your big horse charge up the middle. Not too fancy there, was it? Nothing fancy at all. Challenging that defense. And on that go around, the offense won the challenge. Back to back good plays have them on the move on first down. Now Wentz. Jackson's got it over the middle. And that'll be good for eight yards to the 45. On play action. 
action. It's Wentz. That's going to be complete on the sideline, but, you know, that throw left him no room to run, and the good footwork nearly all for naught. Wentz going to try and throw on third. Open man for him. He's got him. And they're going to have another first down as the tackle's made here at the Cardinals' 30. That one goes for 13 yards, and it moves the sticks. I like how they work the tight end on a nice little under route there. And if you're going to give him that much space, he's not going to catch the football. He's going to run away from you a little bit. And that's exactly what he just did there, picking up extra yardage. So first and 10 now from the 30. Wentz. And he hauls it in in the end zone. Touchdown, San Francisco. His first touchdown on the year. And the 49ers are able to answer the early three points and take a first quarter lead. So a one-handed grab in the end zone. Nothing much more rewarding than that for a guy catching it. Not at all. And with what we just saw there, that type of a one-handed catch, what's next? Maybe they go up and almost Velcro it with their jersey in the ball. That's about all that's left. That play, simply spectacular. So a one-handed grab in the end zone. Not much more impressive than that. Now after the touchdown, here's Elliott on to kick it away. And no effort to bring this one out. It's a touchback. The offense running out, and we shine a spotlight on the undrafted revelation, James Robinson. A tough challenge here in this one. We'll see if he can duplicate the numbers on your screen that he put up last week, up over 100 and a touchdown. We were watching tape to prepare for this game. One thing you noted that I totally agree with, great complimentary piece in the last game. You know, they're able to throw it pretty well. He ran it exceptionally, and they hope to continue that same formula in this game. Complimentary with an E, not an I. That's my English teacher right there. Give him 10 yards there, and about by the nose of the football, he's going to have a first down. To throw it is lock. They'll get this to his tight end. It's Johnny Smith. And they'll get him down on the other side of midfield. It certainly feels like there are more stars at the tight end position than there were even 10 years ago. And I think it's become more of a glamour position because of the ways it can hurt a defense, and guys want to be involved. They can be in line, close to the line of scrimmage. They can split out like receivers. But hands, route running, speed, and some toughness to go across the middle, you put it all together, you got a heck of a tight end candidate. On first and ten, it's Robinson. And he's going to take this ahead for right around three yards, but no more than that. Second down. A check in on the numbers last week for Robinson. 23 carries, 101 yards, and a score. And the way they ran the ball in last week's game has to be satisfying to their entire staff because they're seeing not just a back gain big yardage, but they're seeing an offensive line really in sync. And this winds up a gain of four to the 41. Now we're going to get a stoppage here as we've got an injured Cardinal on the field. While they come out and take a look at him, we will step aside for just a moment. So third and two, this quite possibly four down territory, though, if they're stopped. Throwing now is Locke. Catch made right side by Wilson. And he's going to have a Cardinals first down. It's a gain of six that time on third and two. I've got to say, I was a little surprised to see him, Charles, come out in the shotgun on third and less than a yard. Yeah, but the way the NFL is nowadays, we hardly ever see anyone really run for it on short yardage. So they're going to throw the football more times than not. That was a nice, easy rhythm throw right there, and they pick up the first down. Robinson up the middle. And he can only manage to get a couple. Second and eight coming up. Throwing on second and eight. Lock. The quick throw knocked away. It's incomplete. The 25-yard line is what they need here. This is third down. They look to throw. It's Lock. Man open is 
Robinson. And this will move the chains again as the tackle is going to be made at the 49ers 14. The Cardinal passing game dialed in now. First down. Charles, to move the chains that time, they had to complete it in a double coverage, and they got it done. And it's never easy overcoming multiple defenders, but he sure made it look simple. Found the right spot to exploit and won his one-on-two matchup. They had to settle for three last drive, hoping this second go-around ends in six. In good position, first and ten. And they corral him just a couple yards shy of the end zone. And we're going to stop play here at least momentarily. It looks like there is a 49er who's in some discomfort. But hopefully, obviously nothing serious here. Medical staff, though, are going to take a peek, and we'll take a break. They'll try to run it in, going option right. And he is going to lose yardage here. It's a loss of a yard there, and now second down. Kept it in his hands and tried to push it across the goal line himself, but the defensive front wouldn't allow him to do so. Bring it up second down and a bit farther. So they're backed up to the three-yard line, second and goal. Block now to throw. He's got his man. It's caught in the end zone. Touchdown, Arizona. Jalen Smith, his third touchdown now on the year. And the Cardinals are able to move back in front. And down near the goal line here, they're able to throw it in. And the key word, quick. Quick hitter out of his hands fast, into the receiver's hands even faster. Joey Sly on for the extra point. And it's through, and that makes the lead 10-7. So that one a long 11-play drive. And it was Jonu Smith, the big tight end, who capped the drive with a touchdown reception. Joey Sly now to kick off after the touchdown. This will be fielded inside the five. And not much happening on the return as he'll get this to about the 23. And San Francisco gets set to go here. So remember, Charles, last time they were out here, they scored, but they just saw the opposition score, and they're trailing right now, so they're trying to keep pace here. They need a touchdown drive. Well, if you're a fan of offense, you're loving this, but if you're a fan of defense, this is tough to watch, and it's also tough to keep that up when you just watch your opponent march down the field on a scoring drive the less than the double-digit snaps. You need a score here not just to follow the momentum from your last drive, but put the onus back on your opponent. And that's what they're doing right now, swapping that onus back and forth. Ten seven, our score after one, right here on EA Sports. The 49ers with the football here to begin the second quarter, as they've got it with a first and ten. Now wins, and his throw is going to be incomplete. So line of scrimmage still at 39 on second and ten. Wentz now to throw. And his throw is incomplete. So back-to-back -back incompletions, and that has him staring at a third and ten. Again, it's Wentz. And this time he's got the hookup. It's complete. And, boy, he is very close to a first down, but from where they're spotting that football, he's going to be a foot or so short. They'll get 10 there, but it leaves him just short for fourth down. There's another example what defensive coaches constantly preach, not allowing any run after the catch. They give up a few more yards than they wanted to, but they were able to get him down quickly and force a fourth down. On fourth down, Michael Pilardi on to punt. And this is going to hit the goal line and continue on into the end zone for a touchback. So here are the Cardinals to take over. They're on a three-game winning streak and right now looking good in this one as well.
Locked now on first down. He completes it to Wilson. And he's going to get this one across the 30-yard line. Right off the bat, it's a first down to start the drive, 12 yards. That's a nice throw there, and he's obviously feeling pretty good because remember, he had a touchdown pass on the last drive, and here he comes out throwing again, and they wind up getting good yardage and a first down right out of the gate. From the 32 now, here's first and 10. Here's Locke. Escapes the sack. And this one incomplete, threw it down at the feet of his receiver. After the incomplete pass, here now is second and 10. And good running there as he'll take this all the way up to midfield. And that'll go for a gain of 18 on the keeper. First down. How about that there? No frills, no additives, right? Nothing crazy. Just find a way to pick up the first down. A nice run right there. Lock going to keep it again. And good penetration here. He'll get this down only to about the 49-yard line. On second and nine, Lock throwing for Smith on the out route, and it's caught. And a six-yard gain gets him right around the 43. Such a tough position to defend near the line, even when you add a second defender. But the big man shrugged off the extra body and made the play call a success. The Cardinals on third down. They've been good, three for four thus far. Here it's third and three. Now Locke goes right back to Smith again. And this will move the chains again as the tackle's going to be made at the 49ers, 26. Back-to-back -back receptions for him, and it's another first down. Normally on third down and short yardage, you're thinking of throwing to your tight end. It's just going to be a simple chain mover. But this time they let him roam down the field. And a nice dart picks up the first down and then some. Straight ahead, it's Robinson. They get him to the ground right on the cusp of the red zone after a pickup of five or six. yardage here back at the 23 yard line it's a loss of four now third down well that's the big drawback to this play even if somehow the quarterback pitches it he's not immune to the big hit in this case he kept it and absorbed it anyway an eight play drive to this point so here's play number nine on third and seven back to throw lock Smith catches left side and able to get him down, but he does reach the five. They're able to convert on third down, and that sets up a first and goal. And in a lot of ways, that catch is expected. Red zone presence, and that one was realized there. You've got to find your tight end in that situation. They'll run here with Raymond Calais. And he is in for six. Touchdown, Cardinals. Raymond Calais, his second rushing touchdown on the year as his guys are able to extend their lead. So the first drive ended in three. This time they take it down and punch it in the end zone. So that first drive felt like they were just gathering knowledge, didn't it? Just enough to kick the field goal on the first one. And the second time, they put it all together and got it all the way to the end zone. Now Joey Sly for the point after. It's good to make it 17-7. So that one a pretty time-consuming 10-play drive. And it's finished off with a five-yard touchdown run. 
third elects to keep it, and this will come out to the 25-yard line. And the 49ers settling in for their next drive. They trail by 10, 17-7 as they come up on a first and 10. Throwing his wins. And this is going to be incomplete. An incomplete pass leads to second and 10 from the 25. Inside give to Elliott. He'll be dropped after a gain of about six across the 30 to the 31. Wentz going to throw. He'll get this to Elliott. And he is going to have a 49ers first down by about three yards or so as they wind up getting seven there on third and four. I'm not sure that that was necessarily a safety valve or a check down throw on third down. Sometimes just try and find the open guy and get him the ball. He did exactly that and found a way to pick up a first down. So here's a first and 10 at the 38. Now wins. Well, that one drops down incomplete. Good coverage here. First the ball, four yards, second down. An incomplete pass on first down. That leads to a second and 10. To throw, it's Wentz. Ebron with it over the middle. Five yards, now it's third and five. Now this game, of course, held at the fabled Estadio Azteca, home to the Mexican national soccer team. Home to two World Cup finals, including Diego Maradona and the Hand of God goal in 1986. Look it up, kids. This is the final of five international games for 2022, as well as the fifth time a regular season game has been held here. The Cards and Niners actually played in the first of those games back in 2005, a 31-14 Arizona victory in front of an announced crowd of over 103,000. Yeah, these are the types of players they're going to need to hit on if they're going to get back into this game. It hasn't been the greatest of first halves, but this is a nice throw here on third down, and they keep the drive going. So in the Cardinal territory now, it's first and 10 at the 41. A first down carry by Elliott. And they're going to stop it right at the line of scrimmage. Just no cutback lane to be found whatsoever. Second and 10. Here's Wentz to throw. He's got it complete to Aguilar. Another first down as the tackle's made here at the Cardinals' 24-yard line. 17 yards on the pickup there. The drive will continue. I know we just saw a nice throw and catch, but how about the big guys up front they buying that time. time? Yeah, that's exactly what they did. They created time and allowed the space to happen, and it turned into a really nice play. First and ten, here's Wentz. Short little throw to Ebron. And he gets it inside the ten to the nine. Fifteen more there, and they're on a roll. It's another first down. Just picking up yardage and bunches here. These last few plays, they have moved right down the field. And just like that, they're going to be set up with a first and goal. Two big plays in succession. Not sure this D knows what hit him, but now they got to get ready. It's first and goal. Now Elliott, they juked him. Only a yard that time, second and goal. They'll try again with Elliott. They'll get this halfway home from the eight to the four on a gain of four. They've been denied touchdowns in the red zone twice already. Here comes third and goal. Throwing now is Wentz. Touchdown 49ers! Eric Ebron from four yards out. And the 49ers have cut it back within a score. You get down near the goal line, this is where having a sure-handed tight end becomes a luxury. And it pays off big time, especially when the defense sells out against the run. He finds himself open for an easy touchdown. Elliott on for the extra point. 
And this is up and good to make it a 17-14 game. That one in the books as a 12-play drive. And the end result for the 49ers, a touchdown. Now after the touchdown, here's Elliott on to kick it away. From the six. And he'll take it up past the 25 to the 26-yard line. Here's the Arizona offense now as they get set to take over. And you know, it's certainly a lot of football left to play. We're not into December yet, but right now where we stand, they're in first place in their division, looking really good and looking to be a threat come January. And are you one of those early holiday shoppers, partner? Are you one of those guys get your list done? Because I think about what every team has on their holiday shopping list right now. What's the number one goal? Make the playoffs. Number two, win your division. Number three, and I think the biggest goal of all, Try to get the number one seed so you get that first round bye and ensure you don't have to go anywhere in January and hopefully get to the Super Bowl that way. Locks throw here, going to be caught by Wilson. And he's able to take it across midfield before going out of bounds. From just shy of midfield, lock complete. Smith has it. And they'll get this down to the 42 yard line. And the tight end is certainly a position built to move the chains because they can control space underneath. If they've got good hands, then of course they're a dynamic target. But one other thing is they're right in the sight lines of a quarterback on just about every play. And that makes it easier for the quarterback to pick him out and deliver. And he'll be stopped at the 35, but not before he picks up seven yards. Bell throw downfield is taken in by his running back. And this will move the chains again as the tackle's going to be made at the 49ers, 23. The Cardinal passing game dialed in now. First down. Now a timeout called for by the offense as they'll stop it with just over a minute to go before halftime. First and ten, here's Locke. Caught, it's Wilson. And he's going to be brought down at about the 16. Now the Cards going to call another timeout, their second, as the stoppage will come with a little under a minute to go in this first half. Throwing again on second down, Locke. And this one taken in on the right sideline, but not in the field of play. They say it's incomplete. The throw led him a little too far. It brings up third down. Now lock again. And that is incomplete. Going with their tight end on fourth. And he'll be touched down here, but not before he does pick up the first. A solid pickup of five and a very solid fourth down conversion and defensively pure frustration. Remember, that was fourth and a full two yards. There's a big difference between that and fourth and maybe six inches or a yard. Yeah, you're exactly right, because when it's that six inches, you just fall forward and you pick it up, right? You just go quarterback sneak. But having to move bodies, that means you actually have to execute because they know what you're going to do. How are you going to make the right play call and get everyone into the right spot? And that is caught. Touchdown, Cardinals. Albert Wilson and an 11-yard touchdown. And the Cardinals will extend their lead in the final minute of the half. And this drive, Charles, very well timed as they score with very little time remaining in this first half. And I'm reminded that they get the second half kickoff as well, so they can break this one wide open before the other guys have a chance to possess the football. The extra point by Sly is up and good, and his guys will take a 10-point lead. The 10-play drive that time, and it winds up in a touchdown for Arizona. Joey Sly now to kick off after the touchdown. And not wanting to risk anything here late in the half. We'll just take a knee and they'll bring the football out to the 25. The Niners ready to go on offense for the final time in this first half. 
And with time quickly fading here in the second quarter, not sure how aggressively, offensively they want to play this. I think we'll find out just how much they trust their guys in this situation if they decide to take a shot. The 49ers now are going to use the first of their timeouts as they stop it with 16 seconds to go in half number one. Ball on the 30. They'll come up with a second and five. To throw is Wentz. And that will be incomplete with a clock down now to 13 seconds. Wentz. He'll hit Jackson complete. Now a timeout taken. Perhaps a chance for one more quick play and then another timeout if they hurry. We'll see. Wentz to throw again. Well, it's a shuffle pass and it's complete. And we're going to get a timeout with two seconds remaining in the second quarter. A final shot before half for Wentz. He's going to throw one up for the end zone. Over the middle, and it's incomplete. So we reach halftime here in a 10-point game. As we go up to Orlando now and hand it over to Jonathan Coachman with our EA Sports Halftime Report. Take it away, Coach. Okay, Brandon, thanks very much. Welcome in, everyone, to our EA Sports Halftime Report. Let's get you caught up on what's going on around the NFL. We'll begin out in the windy city of Chicago. And that one is still scoreless as they play in the second quarter. Next, we head off to check out another game. And you can see they are scoreless as they play the second quarter. Lastly, let's check on one final game for you. And you can see they are scoreless as they play the second quarter. We continue on with a check of the next-gen stats in that first half for the Niners. And they've had all sorts of success thus far tonight throwing the football as they're on pace to throw for 300-plus yards if they continue the way they've been going. Meanwhile, for the Cardinals, they too were able to take advantage of a soft secondary as both of these two teams really threw the ball at will in that first half. Okay, Coach, thanks as always to you and the gang in Orlando as we welcome everyone back in for quarter number three. And the half will begin with a touchback. The Cardinals ready to go here to start the third quarter. They'll start on the ground here on first down. And he is going to be stopped cold behind the line of scrimmage. Two yards the loss, second and 12. And plays like that are exactly what this defense needs here early in the second half to give it a little spark. I think their halftime adjustments, what they talked about, maybe it's just a little inspirational speech. Who knows? But looks like they're ready to go. So the opening play of the drive goes backwards. Now they'll come up on second and 12. Here's Locke to throw. And that falls to the ground, incomplete. A nice job of bodying him up defensively. And now it brings up third down. Block now to throw. Going to let one fly for Robinson. And unable to connect, incomplete. Now give them credit, they took their shot, but it's going to bring up fourth down. On is the punter, Townsend, as he gets this one away. Nice punt, but good work on the return to get back 11 yards. And the Niners are going offense first and 10. Now we take a glance at the offense as they work their way back out for their first possession of the second half. Line of scrimmage, the 31 now on first and 10. Now Wentz. Pressure comes, and the Cardinals bring him down. Buried by multiple defenders on the drive's first play. And they weren't in zone coverage. They were in man, and each man did his job. And that looked like vintage, old-school coverage, didn't it? Man coverage reminded me of an old Raiders team. They had a Hall of Famer at one corner and a Defensive Player of the Year at the other, and they just locked people down. 
Got to imagine the pass rush will be equally intense here on second down following the sack. It's second and 18. A throw there, but that's going to wind up incomplete. This offense in desperate need of a conversion as they come up on third down. Wentz now to throw. This complete left side to Aguilar. And he'll have it past midfield almost to the 40 before being taken down. The defense shaking their heads, not aggressive enough, and they allow him to convert a third and 18. We have seen big plays from both quarterbacks throughout this game, and there's another one right there. Going back and forth, almost like two excellent guitar soloists trying to top each other with each additional play. A handoff left to Elliott, and he's got it to about the 40. On second down, Elliott once more. It'll be a gain of five, but still about three yards shy of the first down marker, and now it's third down. Now Wentz. And a throw there, going to be incomplete. Going for it, it's Mitchell. And boy, is he close. Did he get there? No, they're going to say he's short the line to gain. Kyle Shanahan, an offensive mind, but his guy stopped up short. And the Cardinal defense is going to get the football back. They'll start this drive out on the ground. And they'll get it up just short of the 45 at the 44. Nice way to start the drive, a gain of 12 and a first down. Although his reputation as a speedy runner precedes him, it's always fun to watch him work. It is eye-opening, isn't it? Because when you see him get the ball and just go, in addition to that speed, it helps out his blockers. They don't have to hold blocks for long because he's just going to speed right past them. Hand off to Robinson out of the shotgun. And not a whole lot of room to operate there on the first down run. He gets maybe three. On second and seven, Lock completes this one to Thornton. They had three yards on first down, just one yard there. The goal of a wide receiver screen is get enough blockers in front to create a wall and let him pick his spot to run the football. How about the defense there swarming to it and not allowing that to happen? Did not let him get downfield. Now Locke, he lost the football. It's out. And now this is scooped up by the 49ers. Does the big boy have the juice? And he will bring this one back. It's a fumble return for the 49er touchdown. This defense, Charles, they needed some type of a spark to help get them back in this game. I think they just got their spark. No doubt about it. You know, that's all they discussed. How can we get ourselves moving again? How can we get our team going? This definitely qualifies. Elliott now to add the extra point. It's up and good, and this now becomes a 24-21 ball game. The scoop and score, always an exciting play in football, and we witnessed it there, grabbing it off the ground and then rumbling it into the end zone for six. So here's the kickoff now as he'll get it again following that fumble return for a score. And he'll elect not to return this one, so they'll bring it out to the 25 on the touchback. The Cardinals offense ready to set up shop. They'll be looking to make amends for the events of a moment ago. A fumble return for six points. You absolutely have to protect the football. That's got to be priority number one because margin for error is starting to slip away. And now it's down to a one-score game. And the first play of the drive there is incomplete. An incomplete pass leads to second and 10 from the 25. Second down and a run by Robinson. 
And he's upended at the 33, following a good pickup of eight. And while the guys with the ball are having a whole lot of fun keeping it on the ground, the guys on the opposite side, they are having zero fun. They've been getting pushed around the entire game and haven't found an answer yet to slow down the running game. Robinson will try to pick it up. And he will have a first down as they get him to the ground at the 37. Only three yards to pick up, but that's enough to move the chains. Successfully, that doesn't talk about having an attitude to be a running football team, right? You gotta be able to put your nose in there, smell where the first down sticks are, and get there. Line of scrimmage, the 37 on first and 10. Throwing now is locked. And this one's incomplete. So now second and ten after the incompletion on first down. To throw it is lock. It's complete to Robinson. And they're going to have this across midfield and inside the 45. That one a gain of 20 in a first down. I'll tell you what, a lot of those mid-range throws have been available because sometimes teams get too concerned about the deep ball and they leave too much space in front of them. And these guys have been taking advantage so far. So from inside Niner territory now, this is first and 10 at the 43. Back to the ground with Robinson. And he'll lose yardage on the play back at the 45-yard line. J.J. Watt, tough to stop. He gets upfield and makes the play behind the line. I'll tell you what, this defense hasn't played its best, but they're still right in this football game. If they keep making plays just like that, they're going to give their offense a chance. So the first down run lost a couple. Now they come up second and 12. They look to throw. It's Locke. And oh, he's unable to hold on to that defensively. A potential game changer, but it falls incomplete. They got the win last week despite not having any interceptions. Tried to come up with one there, could not. But there's a stat category called PBU, pass breakup. That's important too, and they got one. Yeah, there's no doubt about it because at least you're there. Knocking the ball away, offense isn't possessing it, making plays downfield. And you just continue to harass the receivers, harass the quarterback, and maybe the big play does occur down the road. Holding, receiving team. So holding on the return, and that's going to back him up to start the drive. He was trying to get the job done correctly, just trying to clear a little space for his returner. Ended up getting a little too much jersey and hooked the guy, hence the flag. Over the middle to back up. <laughs> to throw again on second down. Wentz, and his throw is going to be incomplete. They come up now third and five following the incomplete pass. Wentz going to throw. Being chased out left. He finds his target, Beckham. And he is going to have a Niners first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. Sometimes it's designed, but sometimes you just have to know when to leave the pocket and move and make something happen. And on that play, it's able to get on the run and was still accurate throwing the football. From the 32 now, here's first and 10. To throw, it's Wentz. A hit as he throws there, incomplete. So after the incompletion on first, now second and ten. Draw play, Elliott. They do get a couple, but they'll be left staring at a third and eight coming up. Throwing is Wentz. The cards get to him here. He's brought down for a sack. 
Jason Pierre-Paul able to drop him that time for his second sack of the evening. And that's his second sack in this one. And you just can't ask the defensive end or an edge rusher to play any better than what we're seeing right now. And partner, it's still just the third quarter. I'm thinking he's not done yet. Even if he's not getting a sack, he's bringing a lot of pressure to the pocket. Here's Michael Pilardi now as he's on to punt for San Francisco. Well, on that punt, we've got a man shaken up. The medical staff will attend to him, and we will step aside. Started out. Robinson. Nifty move. 85 yards for him on the ground now. He has been a tough man to bring down all night. We've seen him break off a big run already in this game, and for a second, that one looked like it might be another. Yeah, I think that any defense would say, look, we can't let him get to the second level because sometimes he'll break off the big run on his own, but oftentimes you get additional blocking at the second level, which gets you deeper into the secondary. Lock now on first down. And a completion to Wilson. And he'll be tackled right on the chalk at a 45. A Cardinal first down on a gain of 13. Well, if you're going to give him that kind of time, he's just going to shred you. You might as well put a sofa out there for him. I mean, that's unbelievable because I don't care who you are in coverage, with that amount of time, someone's going to shake free, and he's going to be able to throw the ball with a whole lot of confidence. Throwing on first down is Locke. Going right back to Wilson. And he's out of bounds just before the midfield stripe at the 49. From just shy of midfield, Locke. Throwing for the out round, he finds Wilson. And they're going to get this to about the 44 yard line. But it appears that they read man defense and went to the out round. And what you have to do on that one is the receiver's got to make sure he works the defender towards the middle of the field to give himself space to cut to the outside and have that ball delivered with good timing. And they got it done. Locks throws on target to Burks. And he will be taken down with a big pickup there on what's going to be the final play of the third quarter. One quarter remains here as we wrap up the week on a Monday night. You are watching the NFL on EA Sports. So signs of life in what's been a dormant offense in this second half. Here's first and ten. Again, it's Locke. And to the left side here, Wilson. And he's going to be marked down just outside the 10. An ideal spot here to get a first down and try to run some more clock. And this is second and less than a yard. On the give, here's Robinson. And he is into the end zone. Touchdown, Arizona. James Robinson taking it in from 11 yards out. And the Cardinals will add to their fourth quarter lead. And that's certainly an important touchdown there and makes this a two-score game. But as we've seen, no lead is safe in this one with the way these two offenses have lit up the scoreboard. I would imagine that on their sidelines, they're both yelling at their defenses, hey, you want to get involved here? One big play from you, that could win the game for us. Sly on for the extra point. And his guys will take a 10-point lead. So this drive spans seven plays. And in the end, the finishing touch, an 11-yard run. Joey Sly now to kick off after the touchdown. On the return, Tony Pollard from his end zone. And that decision to bring it out ends up not being a good one. Cost him about five yards as he's tackled at the 20. San Francisco's offense returns to the field. And you figure after giving up that last touchdown, you know, they trail by two scores here in the fourth quarter. This drive becomes very critical. 
Wentz now on first down. He finds Aguilar over the middle. And he'll go down at the 26, following a gain of six. Looking to throw again on second down. Wentz. He's got a man. It's his tight end. That's complete. And they work this well up field across the 45. 22 yards there, a first down. This possession means so much for them. They've got to focus on this drive and find a way to make this a one possession game. Yes. Got to get a score. Yeah, so good with a field goal. Don't necessarily need a touchdown. On first down, Wentz. Ebron with it over the middle. And he'll be brought down just shy of the 40. And this offense can get their tight ends involved. They can move the football. Here, a nice route, able to look it in, and picks up the first down. So into Cardinal territory now. It's first and 10 at the 41. Again, it's Wentz. Completes it to Aguilar. And they're going to get this down to about the 37. Here's second and five now from the 37. Throwing now is Wentz. And his throw here is incomplete. The offense on third down tonight. They've converted seven times and could use another right now. This will be third and five. Shotgun now for Wentz. He lets this one fly toward the back of the end zone. And that's going to wind up incomplete. However, we do have a flag down. Let's check in with our referee. Well, certainly those are the types of mistakes they're trying to avoid as they attempt to protect this lead late in the game. And let's face it, they're hoping that this one doesn't cost them in a significant way. Yeah, one guy committed to penalty. And he's going to go down. Back at the 27-yard line, he sacked. Jason Pierre-Paul in there to get him yet again. That is his third sack tonight. They can't figure him out. Well, this has to count as a great team effort today, but this man, he's been at the center of all of it. Really special day for any defense to have this many sacks in a game, even more so for this player. One of the best individual efforts of the season. Pass protection has been a problem all night long as they come up facing second and a bundle. Another try after the first down sack. Wentz, and this one is going to be off the mark, too far out in front. A long way to go here on third down for the eighth play of the drive. To throw is Wentz. That would complete Elliott. And he's going to get this to about the 20, but that is well short of what he needed. They do get seven out of that, but not enough to prevent a fourth down. That's certainly playing down in distance very well by the defense, isn't it? Take whatever you want underneath by all means. So a big, big kick coming now for Jake Elliott. Right hash, 37-yard attempt. The kick by Elliott is good. And this is back down to a seven-point game. All right, so they needed two scores to get back in the game. The field goal there, maybe not exactly what they wanted, but the necessary first step. There's still time remaining, and there's enough time to get it done. They've got to get at the least a three and out here to get the ball back. Preferably a takeaway. Take it in at the three. And yeah, he will make it to the 20 yard line and no further. So out now come the Cardinals. The field goal we just saw has this now at a one score game. And on this side of the football, things are getting pretty tenuous, a little stressful. Blood pressure up a little bit, you think? I think up a lot of it. Uh, could you imagine <laughs> taking the pulse right now? It might be like a jackhammer out there on that side of the ball. But here's what the deal is. I think what we've observed is a team that's been playing not to lose as opposed to playing to win. And they've got to get back to that. And that means opening things up again, being a little more free than what they're trying to get done on offense. Here's Locke. Now they set up the screen. That's complete. And he got blown up on that play. Back at the toy. Offense. 
so instead of giving them another third down, they'll decline it, brings up four. Now that's smart football right there. You don't even have to really spend a lot of time considering it. Just know that you're probably going to get the ball back. Good job declining that penalty. And this one will not be returnable as it sails out of bounds. The 49er offense now making their way out onto the field. Wentz now on first down. And that is caught on the right sideline, but out of bounds, says the line judge. The throw took him a little too far in second down. After the incomplete pass, here now is second and ten. From the gun, it's Wentz. And this one nearly intercepted. Boy, that would have been a great time for their first pick. But instead, it's third down. Now Wentz on third down. And he's left with no option here but to throw it away. Here's Michael Pilardi now. He's been terrific so far. here ready to take over their defense got the stop forced the punt and now you really start to monitor the clock as this slim lead a little jet sweep to start the drive and not much room there so get it up only to about the 21 second and nine now from the 21 up the middle they go Goodson no oh, nifty juke there not much fun for a guy trying to tackle it and finally, they get him to the ground, but it's all the way down at the Niners, 34. 54 yards rushing for him now, and just his first three carries. Well, we have seen some rookie running backs come in and have a big impact year one, and this guy would certainly fit that bill, as that was one heck of a run there. And the thing that stood out to me was his ability to continue through the initial contact. How many times do we see runners get slowed up? and not get what they can on a run because of that first contact. But he kept the compass pointing in the right direction, kept the legs churning, and turned this into a huge play. Out of the gun, they give to Robinson. And he covered a lot of ground on that one, as evidenced by the final total there on next-gen stats. Now here's Robinson again on second down. And he's going to be met at the line of scrimmage and taken down. Now lock. Under pressure, and he will go down. Sat back at the 38. Brandon Graham, he's the culprit, causes a loss of five, and it brings up fourth down. It seemed like he kept going through those progressions, and I thought he might dump that underneath, but he couldn't get rid of the football in time. And I have to wonder if he was thinking while he was back there, I wish there were a lot less progressions on this play, just someone that I could dump the ball to and get it out of my hands. So on fourth down, out trots the kicker in a big spot here. This to make it a two-score game. And this is going to wind up left. Well struck, but it's no good, and this will remain a one-touchdown game. And that one hurts a bit. That was a golden opportunity to possibly put this one on ice, but he comes up empty. And how big of a miss might that turn out to be? Stay tuned. There's still time left on the clock. This could be critical. Still a one-score game. Had he hit that, it would have been two scores. There the 49ers getting set to trot out there. And still just down one score. We'll see how big of a role that missed field goal plays because it, of course, could have pushed this to a two-possession deficit for them. And he's going to take this ahead for right around three yards, but no more than that. Second down. Second and six. No, scratch that. Second and seven. They go to Elliott again. And he'll be brought down right on the 50. A gain of three. This a big play for both sides. What will we see here? Third and four from midfield. Here's Wentz. And this is going to be incomplete. 
Here's Michael Pilardi now. They'll boot it away from about his 35. And he gets it away, a directional kick going toward the sideline. And no return here. Where will they spot it? They say just outside the 20-yard line. Well, the football back in the hands of the Arizona Cardinals. They begin the drive with Robinson. And not a whole lot of room to operate there on the first down run. He gets maybe three. J.J. Watt the one that gets him down. So the Cardinals, they've got the football here as we get you reset. They've got a second down now as they search for a way to get this one to the finish line. Now here's Robinson again on second down. And now right out of the two-minute break, We'll get a timeout used defensively with a minute 56 to go. Now this is a big third down, and you'd have to think we'd see a timeout right away if they can't stop him here. On third down, Robinson. Now he will have a first down here at about the 40. Now San Francisco going to call their second timeout. And they'll be disappointed to have to burn one there after giving up the first down. On first and ten, it's Robinson. And nothing much materializing there on the first down run. He'll get a couple, and that's it. Now the defense will burn their third and final timeout as they'll talk things over prior to this upcoming second down play. Straight ahead, it's Robinson. And he'll be taken down just shy of midfield. 124 yards on the ground for him now as he has gotten better, really, as the night's going on. And this is an absolutely big third down that's been set up here, partner, and there's no other way to put it. The defense has to get a stop here if they have any hopes of winning this game. Pastor, you said big third down. I'd put the word big in capital letters here. And he's got the first down yardage there as he takes it just across midfield. Only a one-yard gain, but good enough to just about finish this one off. We ought to come up with a T-shirt and sell it that says, no indecision on third and one. And we didn't see it on that run, did we? Got his shoulders square, just got right into the line of scrimmage and picked it up. Absolutely. Picked his lane, went with it, and converted. All runs on this drive so far. It's first and ten. Lock, he's set to take a knee, and that should do it for this ball game. So it's a win here for the Arizona Cardinals, and they've got to feel good about this performance. I think you'd agree, matched up against a top five defensive unit in the league, and they pretty much had their way. Yeah, that was, that was the interesting part about it, because normally when we see this defense play, they have their opportunities, and they make their plays, don't they? They knock them back on their heels. They take the ball away. They, they change field position. In this case, what you said is so apt. They had their way with them, took it to them, and knocked them back on their heels and surprised the heck out of them. So for Arizona, their playoff chances take an uptick as they move to 7-4. and four. And now it's off to the airport for a date with Customs and a long flight north to the U.S. Meanwhile, for the Niners, it's a loss that'll drop them back to 500 through 10 games. And they'll try to make amends next week as they host the New Orleans Saints.